up guys Alex over here in Let's Ride Garage and I got my dad's dark side Axum and I'm about to take it for review on the trail and uh, other than that you know the usual subscribe turn the notification bell on check the affiliates in the description below if you would like to support the channel and let's ride all right before we hit the trail I just want to do a quick weigh in and I'm currently at 33.92 pounds or 15.39 kilograms. Yes, I know it's not the lightest bike yet, but I'm pretty actually surprised on, on the weight, even though we have that heavy fork. We'll talk more about that later on. Let's ride. What's up guys, welcome back over here in the garage. Just finished up riding my dad's bike on the actual trail and you saw some of the clips or so you're about to see some of the clips right now. And uh, just a quick bike check. Let's go ahead and see what we have in this bike real quick. All right, so before I show you what we got as usual, if you're new here or if you're back uh, and if you haven't, please subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel, you can check the affiliates in the description below. I'll be linking everything that I'll talk about in this bike if it's available from either Amazon or AliExpress down there. And if you want to become a channel member, you can do that as well. Also, if you would like to support the channel in different ways, you can buy me a cup of coffee or something like that. Check everything's down in the descriptions and on the pinned comment below. All right, so this is, as you know, a Swing Axum. This is a large frame. I got this one when it was 229 something dollars or 226 something like that. I bought two of them, returned one, kept one. I already made a video where I sanded all the decals down and then a short where I show you all these uh, details that I did on it. And uh, as I saw someone on one of the comments, somebody said, why would you debatch it if it's like a, if it was a big brand, you don't see people doing that. And I understand, I understand that. However, I like to have my bikes custom and this is my third bike. This is the third Axum that I do that on. And then on the other, I also debatched it. However, that, was a that one was a little bit easier because it was decals. And then I repainted the other and the other Axum and that's how they stand right now. All right, so back to this bike. As we can see, we have a set of hillbilly tires these are specialized i got them for when they were about 13 dollars or something like that plus taxes i bought a bunch of them you if you haven't seen those videos i have videos where i talked about those and then these are the stock wheels however i did lace up the front hub i still have to lace up the back one but it wasn't like an emergency because it's already cassette compatible so that's a good thing and these are i think i have an unboxing on this one these are arc and i got them from aliexpress from like for like 60 dollars something like that and then let's move on to the drivetrain i have a jg bike uh crank set with bottom bracket and then i have an oval chain ring 104 bcd this is a decus that we got uh a while back and then um Daryl sent me these Fuker pedals, which by the way, they're super grippy. This is my first Fuker pedals. And I think I'm gonna steal this and put it on my other build and uh, put the other red ones back over here. And Daryl also sent me this dropper post completed with the uh, housing and cable and everything. I just think I just had to replace the cable because it was a little bit too short. But uh, besides that, uh, I bought from him an Axum frame last year that I sold, built it and sold the frame by itself. So he got into me when he saw the video where I stripped this bike down and he got into me and uh, offered them to me. Now, at the rear, we have a 11 speed drive train. This is 11 to 50 tooth cassette. And I, this is a recycle one. I have been, it's still missing a bro, it still has a broken tooth on the lowest gear. And uh, I've been using it no problems since the Mongoose XR Pro, okay? So I didn't want to waste a brand new one. I just want this one to wear out because that's the actual, that's the only gear that is messed up. Then we have a CRX Pro uh, derailleur, 11 speed long cage with a, I don't remember what brand this chain is. And this one is the one that has the, the adjustment over here for the kind of like a clutch kind of thing. A small medium and hard adjustment and that's just gonna make this 
uh, a little bit hotter depending on the setting that you have then what else we have the stock saddle for now again uh 29 inch wheels these are not tubeless they are tubeless ready but i just don't have the setup for tubeless my dad doesn't want it either because it's more hassle for him now over here in the front cockpit i have a recycle from my own use it's a wake handlebar 780 31.8 diameter clamp with a jg bike short stem this is a 35 center to center and i have a zito headset 44 to 56 and then these are the half nelson's uh race face chester grips in here now one thing that happened when i was actually setting up the the derailleur making sure it was shifting smoothly i actually messed up the shifter i ordered another one and i currently have a box 2 shifter in here which is working flawlessly as usual and then these are the 26 dollar hydraulic brakes which is uh i have a review coming up on this one as well and so far just heads up they're good then what else at the front right here this is a rock chucks which i have a review coming up as well for this one rock chucks 35 silver however this is a coil fork it is boost it is 15 by 110 and i have the the hub over here is not a 15 by 110 it is a 15 by 100 so i am actually using the spacers on both of the sides the five millimeter spacers as well as the 10 millimeter uh spacer adapter for the rotors talking about the brake rotors i have the stock swing axum 180s and 160 at the rear and uh, i might swap up the rear one for a 180 but i'll do that some other time other than that, I think this is the complete build for now. I'm missing the end caps. I just gotta put them in here. Uh, no big deal. I have them somewhere and I'm gonna make sure that I give it completely to my dad. And of course the stock uh, dropper lever from a Axum DP. So this is the complete build for my dad's Axum. Again, the only thing that I'm gonna end up changing is either the brake rotor at the rear for a 180. And whenever I get the uh, the CRX Sensa CRX shifter, I'm gonna put that in here as well. And then other than that, I'm thinking about swapping up the fork for an air fork. I have a few options available in my possession, but we'll see more about that. I just wanted to have this in here because that's the one that I actually bought from here. I think I got it for $150 on the uh, Facebook marketplace and uh, it did okay. It's, it actually exceeded my expectations, just FYI. And um, other than that, uh that's it so kinda budget ish i'm pretty sure i'm a little over a thousand dollars on this well and maybe not maybe not because some of these parts are already had if i had to add them i'm probably under a thousand dollars because again some of the parts i got them from the facebook marketplace which is a great place to buy stuff other than that the bike perform as usual i mean if you own an axum and you did you have done a few modifications to it you know these bikes are very very capable depending on what setup you have on it is how it's going to perform and so far i think my dad is going to be very very happy with this build it's probably going to be way better than the specialized rock hopper that hot rock that he has it's an older model and this is a way more solid build than that again if you want to see any of the parts if you want to build a bike just like this i'll link everything in the descriptions below also if you want to support the channel check them check the descriptions there's different ways to do it and other than that that's gonna wrap it up for today guys i hope that you like this video if you did give a thumbs up if you're new or if you're back or if you made it this far and you haven't please subscribe turn that notification bell on and that's gonna wrap it up for this one guys and i guess I'll see you on the trails. Let's ride.